Hey, welcome back to the channel. So on this episode, we're gonna be talking about the BioBoards Plutonium. And now I've had this board for about two to three months now, and we've racked up about 500 miles on the board. And so in this video, we're gonna have an in-depth review on things I like about the board, things to be improved, how the board feels, the range, the power, all that good stuff, and have an in-depth review on how I feel about the board, which is good, and things that need to be improved on the board. So stay tuned, let's get right on it. So first of all, we're gonna start off with speed, power, performance, and torque. Now, what can I say about this board in regards to speed? It is an absolute monster. The speed you can get up to this thing is an absolute joke, and the acceleration will blow you away. So there's a couple factors that affect uh, the performance of the board, be it the rider weight, the conditions you're riding, your rider style, um, and the terrain you'll be riding on. So though, all those factors are really key on the performance you'll be getting out of the board. So let's first of all talk about the speed. So when I'm talking about speed, this thing is blowing all the competition out of the water. Now in a straight line, smooth tarmac, I was made, able to get this board up to 37 miles an hour, yes. 37 miles an hour on a piece of wood. Now the reason why I think I was able to achieve that kind of speed is the four wheel drive system. Also with the very wide trucks and the stiff deck and stability and the all wheel drive gear drive, you are getting absolute amazing performance and stability. Now stability is the key. So if you're pushing the board at high speeds, you need to make sure all four wheels are keeping themselves balanced. You've got stability and you're not getting any of those speed wobbles. Now with that four wheel drive, it's locking you onto the road and keeping you safe the whole time. Now that being said, I was probably about half throttle. This board has got so much more performance to give. All you need to do is hold on down the trigger and it will go as fast as you will take it. But before we get up to those kind of speeds, we must talk about safety. Now with this kind of board, this is not an introductory board. This is the kind of board you want if you've been riding for a while or if you've experienced at riding at higher speeds. Now with the safety um, key, it's very important that you cover all the basics. A helmet is an absolute must. Now for me personally, I rock the Rurock Atlas. This is the um, raw carbon edition. I've had this for a while now. I've got a video on it down the link below if you wanna check that out into more detail. Another th key thing if you're riding a high performance board is correct protection. Now for me, it's only lazy rolling for a jacket. For me, I've been riding this in with the uh, performance jacket um, during the summer in the UK. It's been very, very hot over it. And with those level two pads, pads foaming um, in your arms, in your shoulders, it will keep you nice and safe. I've had a couple stumbles on my board and that has kept me safe the whole time. So protection for a jacket, pads is an absolute must. Also, I rock the laser on trousers as well. Basically over the whole gear keeps you nice and safe. Also, I'd recommend that uh, wrist and hand protection is an absolute must. I rock the Flatland 3D gloves. Um, they're really good because they keep your hands nice and safe. So if you fall, when you put your hands down, you don't break your wrist. They've got like a wrist guard technology and they're keeping you nice and safe. So that's an absolute must before you get on a board like this that you're keeping yourself safe before you hit the speeds. Now, next step, torque. Now the torque on this board is absolute rocket. With a four wheel drive gear drive system, you're able to get that up to that top speed in rapid speed. Now with this 12S 6P battery, um, with the 12S being like a really nice configuration, you get that speed really, really quickly. I'd be mad to see if they made something like an 18S version, that'd be absolutely ridiculous. But the torque on this is absolutely incredible. Now with torque, you also get strong braking. With that gear drive system on every single wheel, you're able to get yourself up to top speed really, really quickly. When I say top speed, it's your top speed. This board will match the speed you are looking for. I've never once pushed this thing absolutely up to its highest point because personally, 37 miles an hour is quick enough for me. 
Now with that four wheel drive, you also get incredibly strong and comfortable and controlled braking. I've been out on this board a couple of times. I've had a couple of pedestrians run out of me, slammed on the brakes and it slowed me down really um, hard, but not too much where it's gonna throw you off the board. So not only with the four wheel drive is it great for acceleration, but controlled braking is another thing which is really, really good. You're not gonna get any belt slip in here with those gear drives, it will slow you down to a stop very, very quickly and controlled. So another thing we've uh, done with this board as well, we've taken it out for a range test. Now the battery is a 12S6P battery. Uh, with 21700 cells. Now that's a really nice number for boards, but however, with the four wheel drive system, that's gonna chew up um, your range of your board. Now, as I said earlier in this video, range is very much determined by lots of key factors. Riding style, ride away, um, and also conditions which you're riding. So if it's really hot out, you can get better performance. If it's cold, you're gonna deteriorate as well. Now, when I took this board out for my range test video, which will be down in the description below, I was able to get 27 miles range out of this board. Now, that may not seem like an enormous amount of range. However, if you see within the video, I'm pushing this board the whole time. So I did contact BioBoards and I said to them, 27 miles range is that the range that you would expect on this board. And they said, if you're riding this board hard, and now those guys are crazy, get up to some stupid speeds. I'm gonna put one of the videos down below. I think the channel's still live, so I'll double check, but they always get up to like 60 miles an hour, something stupid on this board so they've got some really big cojones but yeah 27 miles range at this board from a 12 s6p battery now i was riding this on road off dirt and i'm basically pushing this basically riding it in the most extreme uh, styles of conditions now for me that's really important because a lot of content creators i find will ride the board and be really safe and keep it really like conservative and not really pushing the boards too much because they want to get the maximum out of range out of board. For me, I think it's very, very important that you, when you ride a board, you ride it hard. So it means that if a follow, follow a person tries it, then they're going to get definitely more range. So I've got 27 miles out of the board with off-road, on-road um, riding. Next thing I want to highlight is build quality. Now for me, who's riding a lot of high-end boards nowadays, including one of these, uh, build quality, quality is very, very key. Now I seem to find the build quality on this board is absolutely outstanding. I have taken this board on, on road, off-road, um, like I say, hills, really harsh conditions. It's performed absolutely outstanding. No screws have come loose. One thing I did do when I got the board, I tightened up the enclosure screws at the top, just to kind of get a bit more um, security in the enclosure. But this thing has been on a really, really rough ride. It's been off-road um, with rattling going on. Now, this isn't necessarily an off-road board, but with a four-wheel drive, you can absolutely destroy off-road terrain. As long as you've got the clearance, you've got the power and the speed and stability to ride off-road. But the build quality, the 3D services with the trucks and the gear drive system is absolutely outstanding. The Devega on top with your uh, information on top is brilliant. I love the way you can just quickly glance down Look at the speed that you're going at and then have that control the whole time. Um, build quality is brilliant. The, the uh, motors they're using never ever once overheated on me after a long ride the whole time. Um, being a summer in the UK that the uh, motors overheat, no issue at all, especially that four wheel drive. Um, and this is one thing I like to say, everyone's trying to go out there with a four wheel drive system, but BioBoards, in my opinion, um, except for a couple of DIY builds out there, are the only guys out there who are doing it properly. There's other companies out there doing four wheel drive with like a 12S3P battery. If I'm getting 27 miles out of this board with large cells, then who knows what they're getting out of their board. But 27 miles range with the performance, it has the build you want to um, see. But later on in the video, I'm gonna look a couple of things that uh, I wish they could improve on. So when I say about uh, build quality, one thing I like to know is I got caught out in the rain a couple times on this board. Now with me having this board on lease, on like a demo, I want to treat it with respect. However, I also want to see what it can do. Caught out in the rain and I got caught out in the rain severely, chucking it down and this board was absolutely fine. I was absolutely terrified to think I'm going to break this board, but Absolutely fantastic. Waterproofing, uh, very, very good. Now, now, one thing I'd never recommend is to ride a board in the rain. However, one thing you want to know is if you do get caught out in the rain, you have the confidence there knowing that board is going to be safe and secure out for a ride. So build quality is so good that you're not gonna have to worry too much about weatherproofing the board because, like I said, I got caught out in the rain a few times and it was performing absolutely fine afterwards. 
Now here's the one thing that we always have to talk about, some of the areas of development on the board. Now for me, I think this board is very, very suited for the person who's looking for that really high top speed, stability, mild off-road with stability, uh, range, top speed, and basically outstanding performance and basically no limits for the board. However, that does come with a couple of factors to um, be considerative of when you're buying a bio board. One thing with a four wheel drive, you have almost like tram in effect, it's called with four wheel drive, where if you're trying to turn the board, it doesn't twist, it kind of lays flat and turns, if that makes sense. With four wheel drive, it definitely affects the turning radius of this board. Now with carving, this isn't a carby board, however, you can do it. The way you do it is you don't really move with your hips, you need to do like a full body carve. Uh, mostly because the size and the weight of this board, that, that's the way the board feels. If you're trying to use it with the ankles and kind of whip the back end out, you're going to step off the board because you, it's not going to pull you around the back with that four wheel drive option. But if you had a two wheel drive bio board, you might have that whippiness um, that I really love on e-boards personally. Another factor, cost of this board. Now this is a very, very expensive board. Now the reason why these boards are so expensive is because there are no um, compromises done on this board. All the best parts are being put on this board. The best gear drive systems, the best um, battery technology, amazing motors and stability, the, the Vega on the front for um, information when you're riding. So basically it's the no limit. So if you're prepared to, you want the best boards out there, you need to be prepared that you're gonna be paying for it because not alone uh, these being performed, yes, you could do it cheaper and DIY, but the problem is that with these companies, they are paying for the innovation development and the technology to bust it into the board. So that's what you're looking at. Another thing I like to talk about areas of development, um, with the four wheel drive, it is very, very heavy. It's a very heavy board, not the heaviest board that I own, but it's a heavy board for the four wheel drive. With the four wheel drive, it does eat battery consumption. With that 12S 6P battery, it does limit the range that you can be um, getting out of the board. So it's another thing to consider. So looking at uh, those constructive uh, criticisms, what, I, what do I like about this board? Now for me, it's a whole different type of feeling of board. Now I've ridden a range of different boards, off-road, on-road, racing boards, long-range boards. This is what I would define as a missile for the e-skate scene. It's an absolute rocket in a straight line with the stability. Now with me, like I said, this board has got me up to the highest speed I've ever done on a board with 37 miles an hour. Now the reason I was able to achieve that is the four wheel drive, the stability, and basically the confidence in the components of the board. Okay, so one thing I'd like to see in regard to moving forward um, with some constructive criticism with the board is I wish the battery was just slightly larger in size. I just think with 27 miles range, if that get, could get pushed up to 30, a solid 30, then that's what you would need um, to kind of get that kind of range you'd need for the price of uh, this board. Other things I'd say for improvement, I don't know, I, I actually love it. One thing I failed to mention, which I'll mention now, is that it is adaptable, this board. You can have this in a street version or an AT version. So if you're not happy with the range, you could always switch it to a street option, which I would be terrified to see the performance of this board on the street cell. Um, but it is possible to change it from a off-road setup to a street setup. So if you're looking for more range, more torque, more high speeds, then there are things you can do out there to modify the system. So in conclusion, I have this board for over 500 miles. Would I recommend this board? I would recommend this board uh, for the kind of person who's looking for that top end speed, the stability, no limits in regards to e-skate technology and basically performance uh, and, and acceleration and braking. So this is the kind of person who wants no compromise in the performance of the board, who wants absolutely high end speed, mad torque, mad acceleration, mad braking, and basically a mad, mad board. So for me, I'm absolutely so grateful uh, to BioBoards to send this out, out to me. Now, one thing I ask BioBoards to do is, is there anything they can do for me to give back to the community? Because it's always important for me when I get this kind of opportunity is to provide you guys with information, my opinions, things I would like, things that need to be improved, and basically give you guys a helping hand out of it. Now I spoke to buyer boards, they've given me a discount code which I'm going to put down um, below here which gives you $50 uh, off your order if you can get your own board. 
and it does hurt the channel a little bit. It's the first time we've ever done anything like this, but what that means is that we can do more reviews, more content for you guys. So it's a discount code for you guys, which I'll be putting down below here. But overall, would I recommend the board? Yes, if you're looking for that high-end speed, stability, torque, and range. Okay, so that's a close summary of the BioBoards Plutonium. I wanna say thank you very much. If you stayed right to the end, you guys are awesome. And I wanna say thank you to BioBoards for sending this out for me and getting them in the UK so the UK community can check them out. But if you're looking at getting a BioBoard Plutonium and you're worried about the performance, you are not outgrowing this beast. So anyway, I say thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more content. You guys take care and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.